If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to episode 3 of Learn Artillery series. In this episode, we are going to learn about phases in artillery. Phases helps you to define your workload model, basically how you want to inject the load. In a performance testing world, typically we follow in x-axis, there will be a time in seconds typically. And in the y-axis, we will have the virtual users. Whenever you start the testing, you follow this pattern. Initially, you will have some ramp up and then you will have some kind of a steady state, basically the load you want to inject. And then you will have something called a ramp down. So this is a very typical common pattern in any performance testing project. So these phases you can define using the config.phases JSON object. There are four types in artillery. First one is the duration with constant arrival rate. And second, we have the ramp up with the increasing arrival rate. And we have something called fixed count of arrival rate over time. And then we have do nothing. Basically, you will not have any virtual users injected over time. Now let us learn these four phases with an example. In the left side, I have a simple target. As we see in the last video, we are hitting the pet clinic API. And we have to define the phases using the phases object. Phases is nothing but an array. It will follow the sequential order. The very first phase is nothing phase. So here I am just pausing the execution for 10 seconds. Basically, it will not inject any load to my pet clinic API. Now let us execute this using the artillery run pets underscore phases dot YAML and hit enter. So this will do nothing for about 10 seconds and then it will stop the execution. Now, as you see, our phase started with the name nothing and phase completed nothing. So basically for the duration of 10 seconds, it did nothing. So these pause you might need when you are running your load test. This will help us to inject some delay between the phases. Now let me clear my screen and let us uh, enable the second phase. The second phase will inject 10 virtual users every second for 60 second duration. So basically you will have something called 10 multiplied by 60 equals to 600 requests. Typically you will get 600 requests but again depends on various factors such as response time and other factors also will influence. Now let us execute this particular phase and observe the execution. Now the execution has been completed. As you see in the summary report, we have 600 requests with 10 per second. So this is how the constant arrival rate will function in artillery. If you scroll up, you can see the snapshot of the results for about every 10 seconds. So this is how you validate whether it is injecting the proper load or not by just observing the execution. Now let me uh, clear my screen and let us uh, comment this out and let us uh, enable the third phase which is ramp up rate. So here you define the duration as 60 seconds with the arrival rate of 10 and ramp to 50. So this phase it will start with 10 virtual users and then it will slowly reach us up to 50 virtual users in 60 seconds. Let us validate the requests once the execution is completed. Now our test is done. As you see the number of HTTP request is around 1800 and we have the uh, throughput of 30 per second. It is because it is increasing the arrival rate from 10 to 50 within one minute. So this is how the ramp up rate phase works in artillery. Now again let me uh, disable this particular phase and let us enable the last one which is the uh, fixed number of arrival rates. So here we are just defining the duration as 60 seconds with the arrival count of 120. Basically the 120 virtual users will be created in one minute. Now let me clear my screen and let us execute the same test again and then let us observe the status once the execution is completed. As you see the test is done. The total number of requests it sent is uh, 120. And if you just scroll up, you can see the request rate is around 2 per second. Basically, 120 uh, divided by 60, which is 2. So that is what you are seeing in the uh, request rate. 
but in the uh, summary report we are getting one per second but i i guess it is taking the lower side but it should be around two per second so this is how the fixed arrival uh, phase works in artillery i hope these phases will be very helpful in designing your workload model uh, please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel